Hi guys and girls, and here we have the three new iPhones. So we have the iPhone 11, 64 gig in the new green. I call it the mint green, so that's what I'd rather call it. Then we have the Pro, which is the same size as a, a 10, 10S, which is 5.8 screen, it's 64 gig in gold. And then we have the Pro Max, which is in a 256 gigabyte. So let's do a little bit of an unboxing and let's hear the lovely sounds that they make when they get opened. So here we are. So put those two out the side there. So we start with this one. Now these all have LTE and stuff like that, which is really exciting. So here we go. Bring back the first one. Get out of the way. So you get iPhone in whatever colour you get. So this is in the green, with the green apple. Oh yes, look at this. Just one little thing, you get a little dent in the box there, where the camera hole is. So we'll have that there. No, we won't. And then you pull this bit out, so the phone comes out, so they all face the backs, because that's the best bit to look at. Well, this is nice. You also get down the bottom here, the address, California. So if we peel that off. Oh, what a sound. Everybody loves that sound. And there we are. Feels nice. Slightly raised there. A little bit there, you've got a little bit of different glass. You've got the two cameras, which is the main thing, the flash. You've still got the usual socket there. As you can see, you've got the speakers as well. We see there. Oh, very good. But there we are. There's no writing at the back here, which is nice as well. So it's nice and flush, nice and smooth for once. Got the buttons. Got your rocker switch there. Pretty much the same as it's been for a while now. Nothing much has changed. Like I say, these all come with in LTE. So they come with LTE, which now is pretty much the same speed that you would get with an iPhone, the old iPhones. So the LTE now that you get is the same speed as 5G pretty much. So in America, 5G is about 1,000. 1, 200 megabytes, which is 1.2 gig. So you get your stickers, all the usual bump. You get the normal plug, five watt. Oops. Get your usual little earphones. And then you get your wire, your cable in there. That's it with that one. Nothing too grand. Put your usual apple box and then we move that one then we'll open the gold one which is nice then you open up over there and here we go so again this time now it's black box got gold writing gold apple logo on the back there there you go gold apple box And you've got some other bits in the back there. Usual reading rubbish. And here we go. This is the gold gold one. It's actually quite nice. It's very nice, actually. Mm. Yeah, that is really, really nice. But this is a different glass. So this one is frosted. This one is not, see, frosted and not frosted. Okay, so, let's peel this off, listen. Oh. Yeah, that does look nice. So you've got the gold edging, which looks really good. Nice gold phone. And this phone, 
lovely lovely jubbly but yeah that is quality but I've noticed that you've got an emblem down there so you do actually get some stuff there which is not good I don't know if you can see that see it? no maybe not but that is nice and then we come to the green one and the green one is different so I've never had a green one before and you get dark green logo there Apple iPhone so this is going to be my daily phone and this nice green which is very nice wow that is really nice hmm sound dark aluminium or in America aluminum and there's a the green one and this one oh it's very faint so there is a bit of a mark in there a bit of an emblem down at the bottom which says about recycling and CE but yeah it feels much grippier at the back because of the, the, the glass that you got so yeah really nice so these are the two pros and then you've got the non-pro the 11 but all of them all of them are really nice they've got their own thing going on there really nice it's a shame that when you start them up they're not actually the same colour logos but this doesn't feel that heavy actually it's not super heavy you know but it's okay now once you get in the box with this one so this is the pro you get all the usual stickers and everything in there nothing flash you get the the little earphones again airpods with lightning connect connector so you get those Right. Then you get this, as you call it in America, the brick. And this is 18 watts. So you can't power a Tesla with it, but you can certainly fast charge, they say, these new phones. That's a pretty cool one because, as you can see, plug opens up like that. Pretty cool, eh? So that comes with a USB C. Wow, that's pretty cool. USB C. So put that on there so you can see it. Yes, my watch. I've got that on. Now, could this be the future or something? So, yes, you've got a lightning cable, USB C. So, I was discussing this at work earlier on. And wow, you get a nice long cable as well. So yeah. So USB-C, plug it in there. 18 watt charge. Hmm. So that's all right if you've got a Mac. If you haven't got a Mac, you're gonna to have to get a converter. Because you're not gonna be able to charge it up. So you have to use an old plug to charge it up. So that's quite a big plug, but you get 18 watts out of that to fast charge. So probably fast charge this one and this one, but not so much the max I wouldn't have thought. Um, but yeah, so that's pretty cool, pretty nice. So yeah, mm -mm. aloha. But yeah, so that's the problem. If you haven't got a Mac, you're not going to be able to use that cable more than likely and it's a shame but you'd think they'd have on this cable like an apple symbol as well and they should have an apple symbol on here and i still say tim apple if you're watching which you probably never will you should do a blue version of this for ocean blue so where you got project red for 
the little bits they do with that for fighting aids and I think it's malaria and stuff. Project Blue could be to look out for the oceans and help clean the oceans up, couldn't they? So that would be pretty cool. Um, you get your email number coming up pretty quick as well, that's quite nice. Mm. Quite good. Now, that's it pretty much guys. So I will say goodbye because I want to sync up my new iPhone. And uh, what I'll do is now I've done an unboxing, I will do very soon a review, a camera review on this phone, which is going to be very exciting indeed. So check that out. I'll speak to you soon, guys. Peace and love you lots and enjoy your new iPhones. And I'll see you soon. Goodbye.